and yes, second year na tayo sa med school. So I guess I am a very legit med student now and a lot of people have been requesting this video and I will be answering all of the questions that you have sent in my inbox. So a lot of people have been asking me about the CDU med life um, through my Facebook page, Crazy Lazy Travels Baby. And some of you have found me on Instagram as well at Basecapades and I really appreciate everyone actually that has been messaging me. So I started vlogging um, way back um, during my gap year and I didn't really know that I was going to be vlogging about med school and thankfully I had the time and of course now since we are in this online platform we have I have the time to talk to you guys um, in the camera right now get yourself a cup of coffee or tea and then chikahan na tayo ngayon <laughs> before we go through a lot of it I am Bea Florqui my pre-med is physical therapy from the same school Cebu Doctors University so I am 23 years old and I am now a second year med student I already mentioned that parents are both doctors that and they both study in Cebu Doctors University that is why I am in Cebu Doctors University. Although I did apply for FEU and RMF and my parents did not want me to go to Manila. So yes, I am here in this, in my school, in my alma mater and so far no regrets naman because there are a lot of pros being in CDU Med and there are a few cons and we will go through it. And before we start, um, you have the enrollment process. I'll just link the website below. So a lot of people have been asking me about the enrollment and whatnot. And yung mahakasagot talaga sa inyo is ang page. So there is the usual, yung general like weighted average, and then you need your NMAT, and then you need um, the, all of the other stuff, which is your birth certificate, your diploma, those things. There will be screenshots of it in here, wherever I will put it. And you can just check out the link that I have provided so that it's also easier for you and you can read on that. So regarding the GWA, General Weighted Average, this is actually the tip of most people that have been um, in higher years now. When I ask them about, ah, the ano ba tips um, to get into CDU Med School, ganyan. And they said daw na parang your GWA should be at least 2.0 or 85 and also your NMAT should be at least 50. Was it 50 or well, 60? So that really also will boost your chances to be admitted to Cebu Doctors University. My plus points pala guys if you have a sport. <laughs> so ako may sport ako. Um, I'm part of the track and field team. Hello, track and field in medicine team. <laughs> so, I am part of the track and field team. So, for Doc Gruet, which is the dean, plus points sa kanya ang, ang sporty. Kasi, we want to win. Let's go, med! <laughs> Fear the herd. Ganyan. And, plus points talaga yun. And then, actually, this is one of the med schools that really encourage students to balance both your academic and your extracurricular. When I was being interviewed for FEU, I told them that I was a very balanced person, ganyan, ganyan. and then they told me na parang dapat ano focus lang sa med, sa studying, ganyan, ganyan. Even the president of the school um, encouraged everyone to balance both, you know, because tama nga naman um, for the sake of your mental health, uh, for the sake of enjoying also your course, ganyan, or your post grad studies, which is medicine. There are actually 200 students as of now but 100 and 180 are fresh freshmen and 20 are repeaters. So there are 20 groups, there are 20 classrooms and each group has one doctor each. So for tuition so tuition, I feel like Cebu Doctors University Medicine is one of the most expensive med schools in Cebu. It may not be that expensive compared to in Manila like UST or Ateneo, but 120000 to 130000 per semester. In our time during first year, it was around 117, and there are council fees as well. So council fees range from around 3,000 to 5,000 and the, these council fees are used for events such as Medlympics, such as intramurals and whatnot. And 
I think it was around 3,000 or 4,000 this year. I forgot um, during my first year. And so, yun nga. So, it's really around 120 to 125,000 pesos. Sa the pandemic, they didn't really announce na babawasan nila yung tuition. So, I really don't have an update for that. But I heard hindi daw nila babawasan. So, if you really want to get into the technical terms of subjects, we only have three subjects. The first subject is Basic Biomedical Sciences, which is BBS. You have your PDR or your Patient-Doctor Relations, and then you have your Medical Perspective. And those three are present for the first semester. But after two months, you're done with your Medical Perspective, and then you only have two for the rest of the year. Those are the, really the subjects that we have. For BBS, naman, it is divided into six blocks. Basic Biomedical Sciences, this is where your anatomy comes in, your physiology comes in, your embryology comes in, and whatnot, and your biochemistry. But it is divided into um, systems or modules. So you have block 1, block 2 to 6 that are divided or arranged into um, systems where you can correlate each other. So for example, for block 3, it is more on the nervous system, musculoskeletal system, and your special senses. So it's more on the nerves and whatnot. It is also my favorite block because I am, my pre-med was indeed physical therapy. So Kuda <laughs> loves block three ma PT Jan and yo. Talaga dun talaga na hikita ko ani yung subjects niyo. So each block my grade. Uh, there's a different grade for block one, for block two, block three, block four, block five, block six. Iba iba ang grades non. And then in the total is you they have they weigh each block. So each block iba iba ang bigat, iba iba ang impact sa grade mo. So example block three, which is the musculoskeletal system, mas heavy siya compared to block 2 which is immune system only and cell biology ganyan okay, block 5 also is one of the heaviest block being urinary and then digestive and also respiratory kasi medyo mahaba siya na block that is the heaviest ata out of everything so let's rehash everything that I, that I have been saying for the past videos CDU style of teaching is PBL or problem based learning or OBE or Objective Based Education. So what does PBL and OBE mean? So basically, case-to-case -case basis kami. We have blocks, we have modules, and a lot of people will be like, PBL, paano ba yan? Ganyan, di ba? So what the approach in our school with PBL, this might be different in other schools as well, because UST is PBL based, UERM is PBL based, and it might be different from my school. So our usual routine is MWF is SGD, which is short group discussion. So you will be grouped into groups of ten people. So pinaka random to in my group. Mayroon kaming dentist, mayroon kaming medtech, mayroon kaming nurse, mayroon kaming PT, mayroon kaming bio graduate. So yun, mayroon kami yan. And there are 10 of us and we are, that's gonna be your group for the whole year. So magkakasama kayo, pati sa research, sa lahat ng pagod at sa ginhawa, ganyan. So kayo magkakasama. So I am with group 14, hi group 14, shout out. Yun yung magiging kasama niya for the whole year. So SGD naman, that's your MWF. Um, it's an 8 to 12 schedule and bibigyan kayo ng cases and in this cases may mga objective na gagawin. There are 7 jumps pala ganun of SGD. So first 5 jumps is babasahin niyo yung case tapos naman mag-hypothesize kayo tapos magbibigay kayo ng mga answers nyo based pa lang on your stock knowledge. And Sa next naman, na meeting nyo, dun na nyo correlate lahat. So, what you have read, ganon, anong bang mga nabasa nyo from the references that were given. So, yes, madami talaga tong independent study time. So, going to the independent study time, um, it's, it's, it's actually a time for you to browse through all of the books so that pag SGD nyo the next time, meron kayong masasabi. And usually, kaya sabi nila, parang chill daw ang PBL kasi you are given a, a time, a, an independent study time. So regarding lectures naman, we do have lectures, especially if the topic is very, very hard, like, such as biochemistry. We have specific lectures for that. Talaga kami tiyatawag na parang isang doctor lang for this subject or ganyan, blah, 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 wala. So, kumbaga, kung we have doctor lecturers, these people are guest lecturers, ganyan, and 
we we do attend them. So what are the things you need in CDU? You need um um a laptop. I feel like this is a need because there is research and a lot of paperwork. Because guys, we have a lot of reflection papers. The other things that you need, um, maliban sa laptop, is an iPad. And if you have a smartphone, they actually require you to have a smartphone at the start, palang, because you will be using Google Classroom. At just sa Google Classroom, lahat ng announcement, lahat ng task sheet, lahat ng PowerPoint ipo post. So very important na updated ka. And mayroon naman fiber Wi-Fi ang CDU. So 120k tuition mo, mayroon kang fiber Wi-Fi naman. And um, unlimited access siya. So you can access it with your phone, your laptop, your your iPad, ano man. And then, yun nga lang, sa fifth floor lang siya ng school. Kasi, um, yung med department ng school namin, it's in the fifth floor. So yun. Regarding sa books, do you need to buy a physical book? For me, I did not buy a physical book. I got Gartner lang pala. I only got one. And some books like um, Young Snell, tsaka yung um, Netters, I had those when I was in PT. And then, ngayon, the thing that I just bought was Gartner. I was apprehensive about histology. Medyo na intimidate ako sa histology kasi wala kami histology nung wala kami histology nung undergrad at saka I, I didn't wanna fail, diba? Ganun. And baka feeling ko, oh, gusto ko talaga may physical book. So parang feeling ko ganyan. Um, accomplish ako. <laughs> so yun. So that was the only book actually that I bought. And regarding e-books, um, just link your emails down below. I'll send you guys a link. And <laughs> disclaimer lang yun. Ganyan. Pero together, we should help each other I guess here. And yes. <laughs> It's already been a few days since I shot the first part of this video and I just decided that I'll make a part 2 na lang for all of you guys because I've been editing this and it's already been 12 minutes so I know people only have specific concerns and I don't want this to be scrunched up into big a big 30 <laughs> I didn't want to scrunch this video up in a big 30 minute video. So I will just be dividing the videos and I hope you like this first video. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget to like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!